Hey there everyone, today I'll show you how to automate the login page of any website using Node.js and Selenium. I'll be demonstrating this with the help of ChatGPT, an AI language model developed by OpenAI. By the end of this tutorial, you will be able to create your own login automation script for any website using Node.js and Selenium. Before we go further with writing the script with the help of ChatGPT, first let me give you a quick overview of what is Selenium. Selenium is an open source automation testing framework used for automating web applications across different browsers and platforms. It provides a suite of tools and libraries that allow developers and testers to interact with the web elements, simulate user action, and verify the behavior of web application automatically. The prominent components of Selenium are first Selenium WebDriver, second is Selenium IDE, then the third is Selenium Grid. Selenium WebDriver is a core component of Selenium and provides a programming interface to interact with web browsers. Developers can write scripts in various programming languages such as Java, Python, c -sharp, JavaScript, etc. to automate browser actions like clicking button, filling forms, navigating pages, and extracting data from web pages. Selenium Integrated Development Environment is a browser extension used primarily for record and playback settings. Selenium Grid enables the distribution of tests on multiple machines or browser simultaneously. Now, let's begin with code. Visit chat.openai.com and enter our prompt in ChatGPT that will generate our code. Here, we are asking ChatGPT to write a script that will automate the login page of an example website and it will use Selenium in Node.js and it will provide us with each step. So let's see what it gives us. So it's generating. Okay, so it's saying that for automating the login page of a website, it involves various steps. So the first step is to set up our project and then install dependencies and then create the automation script in which we will create a JavaScript file. Okay, and then it's asking to replace username and password and it has also given the steps to run the script. Okay, perfect. So here we have some prerequisites before we move further. ChatGPT is asking us to make sure that we have Node.js and Selenium WebDriver installed before we begin. So you have to make sure that you have Node.js and NPM installed. Selenium WebDriver will be installed when we will install the dependencies after initializing our project as a Node.js project. So to make sure that you have Node.js and NPM installed, open the terminal and run the command node-v which will give you the version of node.js. If it is installed in your computer in your local system, it will provide you the latest version of node.js. Then run the command npm-v to check if it is installed. If you get any error, that means you don't have node.js or npm installed. So, here you don't need to worry, you can install Node.js and NPM. So to download Node.js, you have to visit Node.js.org and then you have to download the latest LTS version for Windows. And after downloading, complete the installation process. It's a very simple process, okay? Let's head on to the documentation of NPM.js. It tells us the steps for downloading and installing Node.js and NPM. I will provide this link in the description below so you don't have to worry. So here you will see that to download the latest version of NPM on the command line, we have to run the command npm install dash g npm and dash g flag stands for globally. So copy this command and paste it in the terminal and install the npm globally. After you are done installing it, run the command npm-v and node-v again to make sure that you have now node.js and npm installed. So here we are done with prerequisites. Now back to ChatGPT as we are done with our prerequisites, now our first step is to set up our project. We have to create a new directory for our project 
and we have to navigate into it using the terminal and then initialize it as a node.js project by running the command npm init dash y but instead of navigating it using the terminal what i'm going to do is i'm going to directly open my project into vs code and which is named as selenium dash automation and using vs codes inbuilt terminal i'm going to run the command npm init dash y to initialize my selenium dash automation project as a node.js project so you will see here that it has generated the package.json file. So now we are done with setting up our project. The next step we have is to install the dependencies. The necessary dependencies which we have to install in our project is Selenium Web Driver and Chrome Driver. If you are using Chrome as your web browser, then definitely you have to download the Chrome driver. But if you are using any other browser such as Firefox or Microsoft Edge, you have to download the driver of that particular browser. So just ask the chat GPT here that which driver goes for Microsoft Edge or for Firefox and it will tell you. But as I'm using Chrome driver, what I will do here is just copy the code and paste it into my vs code terminal into my project and then let's click enter and it will start installing the selenium web driver and chrome driver so it's done installing our dependencies and in package.json file you will see the dependencies here chrome driver and selenium web driver so now our next step is to create the automation script for it, we have to create a JavaScript file and you can name it anything. ChatGPT is saying to name it as automatelogin.js. Okay. So in VS Code, let's create a file and let's call it login-test.js. You can say login-automation, whatever you want. Okay. And let's click enter. And now let's bring the code from ChatGPT and paste it in our JavaScript file. So copy the code. And let's paste it over here let me just close this terminal the one thing we have to make sure is that we have to replace the username and password with the actual credentials okay and we have to specify the website URL because I guess here it's using example.com yeah it's using HTTPS example.com slash login here we have to provide the website that we want to automate and then the username and password for this tutorial i'm going to automate this website which is practice.expandtesting.com which is basically made for automation okay and as you will see here that they have provided the username that is practice and password which is set as super secret password we are going to automate this website today I just cannot use Instagram or YouTube for this tutorial or else I might get into a big problem cause it's against their policy. But one thing you should know is that this process will be the same as if you want to automate your website or any other social media. Now in our website URL, we have to replace this with the actual URL of our website. And here we have it so let's grab this let's copy this and let's paste it over here and then username is practice so let's grab this and paste it over here and then our password which is super secret password and then paste it over here so we have replaced our actual website URL, then username and then password. Okay, before we move further, let me just give you a quick overview of what this code does. Here, the code imports the necessary classes and functions from the Selenium WebDriver package and Selenium-WebDriver slash Chrome. These are used to interact with the web browser and control its behavior. Then we are setting up the Chrome driver. This will initialize the Chrome driver using the Chrome driver path and it will set the Chrome browser which is to be used by the web driver for automation purpose. And then we are creating a new web driver instance using the builder class. It specifies the Chrome browser should be used for automation.
and then we define the website URL which we are going to automate and the credentials like its username and password and if by any chance you are using any other website instead of this website you have to put the URL of it here in the const website URL variable and then its username and password for that particular website you are automating then we define an async function which is named as automate login this function is containing all the logic which is used to automate the login process inside the async function automate login we are using try and catch to handle any potential errors that might occur during the automation process await driver.get website url will open the website which we are automating and then the username and password fields as well as login buttons are located using the appropriate selector so basically what we are saying here is that username field will have an element which will be named as username and the password field will have an element which will be named password and for the login button we are finding that element by using a css button type equal to submit that means that login button should have a type of submit only then login button will work okay we just have to make sure that we find the element by the name username password and then for login button the button should have the type of submit we will check this in just a few moments and once we have got that element with the name username and password we are using send keys here to send the username and password which we have declared above this will send the username and password to the practice.expandingtest.com website and then the login button is clicked using the click method now what this line will does it it will find the specific element once we are logged in to the page and if we are logged in and if the login is successful it will console log login successful and if by any chance error occur then in the catch we are using console.error and then whatever the error will be it will be console logged okay here we have to specify that for which element we are waiting okay i will tell you about this in just a few moments and then you can set the timeout you want and in the finally block the web driver session is terminated using driver.quit to close the browser finally we call the automation function to initiate the automated login process okay so as we have got the quick overview of what this code does now the next step is to make sure that these input fields for username and password does have the name of username and password in their html okay and then this login button do have the type of submit we have to make sure so how we can do that is just right click and click on inspect and then in dev tools we have the element import which is named as username so we don't have to change it in our code and then for password we do have the name of password for this input element now let's make sure that this login button do have the type of submit and here we have it this button and it does have the type of submit okay now you can see here that we found the user field it has the name of username in dev tools and this password input do have the name of password so basically this is right and one thing that we have to make sure is that when the login is successful it should find a specific element to give us login successful message let's close the dev tools paste the username and let's grab this password and let's paste it over here and then let's click on login okay so you see we have this area over here let's just grab a css selector for this so that it can distinguish like yeah we logged in successfully so let's click on inspect and then in depth tools let's click on this and let's hover over it and we have this div here and you will see here that in css it has a css property named as alert dash success so let's grab this and paste it 
over here and make sure that it does only have one period okay so what are we basically doing here is we are just saying that once the login is successful you should have this css present on that web page and if it is just console log login successful and if it does not find this css it will throw an error so make sure you save this file a fourth step is to run the script to execute the script we have the command node and then the file name okay and let's open up our terminal let's run cls to clear all of this and then let's say node and then our file name login dash test dot js let's enter okay so as you will see here that it gave the error that chrome dot set default service is not a function so where this error is coming from okay this it's coming from here let's grab this error and let's ask chat gpt why does it give an error let's enter so it's saying that replace the previous chrome related code with this code snippet so let's just grab this it said like remove all the chrome related code so let's remove this and paste it over here and let's save this file run this again and i think now it should work okay so yeah it's working okay wow it opened a new browser wow this was so fast and look it gave us the message login successful and there you have it you have successfully automated a login page using selenium in javascript one thing i want you to remember is that this process will be the same for any other website that you want to automate for login okay if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe until the next time take care and happy coding bye bye